Good afternoon, good evening, good night, and welcome to Throwbacks, where we talk all things cool and retro. And we may not have the coolest, and this may not be the most retro, but it was only five bucks. So I really can't complain too awful much when you get something like this for five bucks, because honestly, this is not something I would buy for anything much more than five bucks. Um, if this was a regular price vintage figure, you know, the 12, well, the original. 12 would be amazing, but, um, you know, the now $16, because I just, I don't see the original price of, like, almost $30 for these things. I just don't. I think it's a big misstep for Hasbro, and this is why we are, in fact, seeing them at places like Ollie's uh, for 5 bucks or a deep discount at Target. But, clearly, Target couldn't make these go away, but Ollie's did a good job and is making this go away. Um, for me, this is all about this box right here, and that is the accessories. Um, the new Grogu, whatever, that's fine. Uh, looks like it comes with like some rocks or some floating rocks or something, but we'll get that when we get in here. Um, but the big boy is the owl, um, you know, from Rebels fame, stuff like that. Um, so very cool. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but all the same. The owl is the big selling point for me, and that alone is worth five bucks. So let's go ahead and make sure that we got our money's worth here with this $5 Star Wars, The Mandalorian, Ahsoka Tano, and of course, little baby Grogu. But as I said, let's come on. we all know it's about the owl here. We all know what's going on. I'm not going to be nice about it. Let's just get in there. I'll rip this bad boy open. Find our little coffin figure here. Make sure everything's out of there because I think actually the other day I might have accidentally thrown away a, a thing. So that's like, what a big deal. Alright, let's get a soaker out of here. Come on. Come on out and play, Miss Ahsoka Tano. Little coffin of goodies here. Coffin of goodies. All the part on me. Big mess, big mess, big mess. All right. Go ahead and drop this down so we can see it. Let's get Ahsoka out of the way. So the camera won't overly focus on her. Alright, lots of good, lots of good. Check the bag, which, oh, see, I found something else. Hiding in the bag, come on. Be free, come on, there we go. Dropped out of there. Alright. Let's dig into some accessories. Starting off with her sabers. Now these are crystal clear sabers. Very nice for her white lightsaber. So that's the longer hilt with the, again, clear blade. Very nice. And here is her shorter hilt. Very nice. Get you a nice cool zoom there. Very good. Pretty cool. Really dig the clear look there. Let's really put these things, let's really put this new high speed camera to the, t <laughs> to the test here on these. All right. Excuse my nails there. All right, come on. So this is the little floating pebble that uh, they're they're uh, kind of throwing back and forth between um, Grogu and the Mandalorian. And this is the little ball thing that he really loves from the ship. Uh, a nice touch, you know. Definitely a nice accessory piece. Definitely one of those things that you got to put on a shelf and and just kind of forget about it and hope that it never goes anywhere else. Um, nice throw in, which they didn't have to do, I think, for this pack, is the uh, lamp that uh, they're sitting around um, using this for obvious light and things like that. So, pretty cool there. On the Grogu himself, doing the floating stuff there. I don't think there's, I think he has some head movement. And the arms are static. And the hands um, do not move. They're so small it's hard to tell. Do not move. So there's your baby Grogu. 50 year old Grogu, I guess I should say. Looks really good actually in the face. Pretty nice face sculpt there. Has kind of like the concentration look there. And then the reason I purchased this is for the owl. Now I am noticing something that I think might be what the purpose is here, so we'll check that out in just a second. But really cool, looks really good in the eyes too. Very nice job on the eyes. Kind of has a nice clean to it. Has a little perch look to them right here, which I'm gonna guess is the reason they included this is for 
Yow to sit on the light. Very cool. Okay. That's pretty rad. Very nice touch, Hasbro. I will give you credit for that. That is pretty rad. I dig that a lot. So super happy with that, actually. That's really cool. That will look really nice in my display. On to Ahsoka herself. So I think the main point here is the soft goods on Ahsoka. She comes already squared away. I would not in a million years take that off of her. I don't see the point. Um, let's go ahead and pull her counterpart. I do believe this is also from the Ahsoka. Um, looks to be a straight up re-release um, with just, yeah, don't see anything different. Gauntlets, uh, looks the same. If anything, which could just be my eyes, um, this one may be a little darker, darker blue. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously I think, actually, you know, is there sabers? No, there is black in that saber too. Uh, yeah, sabers are the exact same as well. I almost thought there were some color differences, but nope, there's not. So this is the original release. Obviously, I'm going to go ahead and switch it out with this one just to have the soft goods. Um, accessory there but all in all I think this is obviously just a repack same paint all that good stuff with just um, the soft goods but as I said I think the main selling point here is the owl and I guess in this case it's a little uh, light perch so it is a pretty cool touch and one that I will gladly add to my collection but I think that's going to be it for us here at Throwbacks today. But uh, appreciate you guys hanging out. Have you guys been hitting up all Ollies? I know they got a restock of a bunch of fun stuff. Marvel Legends. Uh, I think even people have been seeing some wrestlers, some Star Wars, things like that. Have you guys been checking it out? Have you been lucky enough to find some good stuff? When I went, this is really about all I was able to find. But I guess for 5 bucks, I cannot be upset about it. I got a, one to keep on card and one to open here with you guys. But I think that's going to be it. So for myself and Uncle BJ, it's time to throw one back. And we'll see you all next time.